Ask Reddit by Infinita Mirals. What are some things that rich ultra rich people do which the average person doesn't even consider? Buying a home for their college age children then they sell the house when their kid graduates sometimes this sale pays for college. Money making money. Years ago I read an article about someone whose business was keeping ultra rich people's cars ready to go as in if you have a Ferrari in multiple cities they'd keep it fueled up, oil changed, etc and drive it around the block once a week or so, and have it waiting at the airport when the owner flies into town. Exotics can get a little upset if let sat for too long. Plus when you get someone in town just for say 5 days, every other month, they won't have time to get an oil change wash their Ferrari, etc. Makes sense to just pay someone to have it ready when needed. Having separate sets of clothing in each house so they don't have to take more than carry on luggage when traveling. I heard of an optician in DC who had a limo pull up in front of his store and a Middle Eastern man in expensive robes got out with his bodyguard. After browsing a little the bodyguard came to the counter with a nice pair of Ray-Bans and said we'll take 20 of these. The optician half-jokingly asked if it was one for every room of the house, but the bodyguard with a flat look corrected, no, one for every house. I also had a friend who had a friend who hired on as house maintenance for someone rich. Her job was to keep a steady supply of exactly the right perishable foods available in all this person's houses, and on constant rotation to keep it fresh so they would immediately have exactly what they liked available to eat if they decided on impulse to go to any particular house. I live near Scottsdale with a lot of wealthy people. They constantly remodel their vacation homes so there's always great stuff. I bought a brand new Viking refrigerator from Craigslist. Still wrapped. It's 8 feet tall, 36 inches. The homeowners decided they wanted a double refrigerator instead. They've owned the home two years. Still haven't stayed a night there. The refrigerator retails for $18k. I got it for $1,500. Can you feel the wealth trickling down? I have several rich friends who are my age, 50s, and don't work. Their biggest perk is attending every concert and show and buying front row. Not just our area, but if their favorite band is playing across the country. They fly, with their kids, there and spend the weekend. I've known people whose adult children follow their favorite band around the world, attending every concert. Even if I had the money, there is no one I like that much. My mum's boss buys a brand new top of the range car almost every year and gives the year old one to one of his kids or family members. I jokingly asked for one. Truth is I doubt I could even afford the insurance let alone maintenance and fuel. It can cost $15,000 for a break job. You are correct. I dated a girl from a super rich family for a couple years and every spring her entire family would go through their closets and donate 90% of their wardrobe and then go out and drop $20k plus on entirely new clothes for the year because they had to have a new season of everything. As someone who grew up wearing clothes till they fell apart and patching them if they still fit, this blew my mind. Getting rid of perfectly good clothes because they were last season is just insane to me. At least they donated their clothes instead of throwing them away. Paying hundreds of thousands of dollars for golf course memberships. I photograph luxury homes in the most exclusive golf course neighborhoods in my state. I know of one neighborhood where membership runs 400k plus and there's a waitlist of people wanting to join. In Naples, FL there's a club that has a waitlist. It costs $30,000 to get on the waitlist but there is no guarantee you'll be selected that year. Every year you have to pony up another 30k to stay on the list. Hiring a stylist to curate new designer furniture for their house when it needs a refresh. This. The idea that furniture and home decor have fashions or seasons. That you might rip out the carpeting or tile and have it redone because it isn't in style anymore. It's so beyond me that people waste perfectly good stuff, like let throw this couch in the garbage, because I'm tired of the color. Have assistants do things we wouldn't dream of doing. 
I know a rich person who hired a personal assistant to find the land to purchase. Here are the criteria. Forested land by the sea. Cliffs. Quiet area but with cell reception and make it so that it isn't an area with lots of boat traffic so I can take my bath while looking out at sea. Damn. My only requirement buying a home is that it includes a bathtub lol. Most of my rich friends growing up always had stocked and organized fridges. Someone did all the shopping and kept everything organized. I do that, but I'm just dad. They can call me wherever I am and ask where X food is and I can tell them. Pay for kidnap insurance. I would be interested in the pre-assessment insurance does for this coverage. Like how many bodyguards you have, etc. Buy the island instead of vacation to the island. Some billionaire just tried that in Duluth, MN. She then threatened to sue anyone who reported on it or asked questions then. After that caused public backlash and had the mayor wanting to talk to her, she is now backing out and tried to say she had plans for the good of community. I actually know one. They haven't been to a grocery store since mid 90s. It's a banana. How much could it cost? $10? Flying to another country on a private jet just to eat dinner. That's exactly the thought I had which spawned this question. Like, what do you want for dinner or let's go to Mexico City for dinner tonight? Buying $2 1500 cashmere sequin short sleeve sweaters so that your tailor can cut up one sweater and make sleeves out of it because the top doesn't come in a long sleeve version. Source, I used to work for a very wealthy retired actress who did this. I had to purchase the sweaters for her and schedule the tailor. Speaking of cashmere, I just learned that Hannah Bronfman, of the Billionaire Bronfmans, has a wall that is fully covered in cashmere. Like a cashmere wallpaper. For kicks, I guess. Their vacation homes are stocked with regionally appropriate attire. Mountain clothes, beach clothes etc. They also keep luxury vehicles at these homes that most people could only dream of owning and using as a daily driver. Yup, my grandparents were friends with a very rich, retired couple. They had a vacation home in a large southern city. My parents mentioned wanting to visit that city, my grandparents made a call and we were told to just pick some dates and the house was ours. There was a new SUV in the garage. We were told to just leave the house however, just walk away, and their normal maid service would be a post visit cleaning and set up for the next time the house was needed. When we arrived, the maids had turned down the beds, had flowers in the kitchen, there was a cheese plate in the fridge for us, beers, soda and water a nice saying to help ourselves to the liquor cabinet, and a number for the local maids if we had any questions. It was damn impressive. This wasn't a mansion, just a more normal, 5 bed, 4k square foot type place, but I felt like a king. I live outside of a major city. I am from a not wealthy area bordering on a wealthy area but my parents sent me to private school so I have friends from both places. I offhandedly mentioned to a wealthier friend the other day that I saw a condo on sale for $2 million in one of the richer towns. I said that if I were in the market for a $2 million property here, I'd be looking for a house, not an apartment. She explained that they weren't for sale with full time living in mind they are mostly used as pie d'artes by mega rich people who bounce back and forth between the city and further out in the suburbs and don't want to have to rush home beat traffic deal with trains. Or for people who dock their yachts nearby. TLDR, man imported an ancient monastery door to use on his ranch home. I worked on a ranch just south of Crested Butte, CO, if you aren't a billionaire, don't even think about looking at buying a home there. The owner of the ranch bought the front door from a Tibetan monastery and flew it to the US to use as his front door on his main house. It was all ornamentally hand carved, like 3000 years old, approx 12 feet x 6 feet x 2 feet, and weighed tons upon tons upon tons. Not even the cost of the door itself, but the shipping alone must have been astronomical. And this was just his front door on his main house. There must have been over 10 buildings on the property. 
I've seen worked on many billionaire mansions all over CO, and this dude's ranch is the nicest I've ever seen. Summer, in the verb form. Um feo. Yeah, we summer in the Hamptons and winter in Los Angeles, not me but, they. Have lobsters flown from Maine to Japan on a private jet to impress a client? I'll be honest. I'd be impressed by a lobster flying in economy class, never mind a private jet. Concierge private specialized medical care. If they have a special or chronic condition, say kidney failure, they'll have a dialysis ward installed in their home with a private nephrologist etc. Or end up hiring someone who will end up donating an organ to them, or cancer treatments set up in home, etc. Or have an MRI installed in their home etc. Own a senator or two. You'd be amazed at how cheap you can get em on sale these days. Limo jousting. And great pup and fights. Delete it. In 1829, Lockhart Castle, https colon slash slash www.japancastle.jp slash 2020 slash 07 slash lock dash heart dash castle dot html close bracket was built in the south lanarkshire of scotland in 1987 it was bought by a japanese actor dismantled brick by brick and taken to japan along the siberian railway and in 1993 the castle was reconstructed in gunma prefecture japan these days it's a tourist attraction castle theme park and hosts weddings and special events we were driving along the Japan Romantic Road, came around a bend in the road and there it was, a Scottish castle in the middle of Japan. It was a completely bizarre sight, 